Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Drace. How are you? I miss you all so much. I understand you're learning from home. You get to see your teachers, catch up with some of your friends. I am so happy that you're still learning from home, but I know you miss school. You know what? I miss it too. And when I think about Mm, my favorite thing that we would do together at school. Mm, there were lots of favorites, but I think I really liked every day when we gathered on the carpet and I got to read a story to you. You guys were really good listeners. And do you remember our gathering song? Come on, let's sing it. We are gathering, we are gathering on the rug. On the rug, everyone is here now, finding their own place now. We are here, we are here. Good job, thank you so much for gathering with me. I thought it'd be fun if I could read to you today. And I picked a story about, uh, it takes place in a little girl's home something fun happens there. I hope you're having fun at your house. And it's a story that we read when you were in the green room, so you probably remember it. But remember we said if you have stories that you love, it's fun to read them over and over again. So before I read, I don't know if you remember, but lots of times in the green room when we'd sit down to read, I would say to you all, hold on. Hold on, I need my glasses. <clears throat> and I'd look around the room and you all would be so sweet. You would look up at me and you'd say, Mrs. Drees, they're on your head. You were very kind, you never made fun. So thank you for being so kind to me. Let me put my glasses on. And the story that I'm going to read today is called The Useful Moose. And the story is written by, and the pictures are drawn by Fiona Robinson. So she's the author and the illustrator. Pretty cool. Some children like cats. Some children like dogs. I like moose. So this is the little girl that lives in this house and the sign says Molly's room and it says do not disturb. For vacation, my mom and dad took me to Alaska to see some. I looked on mountains, I looked by glaciers, I looked in forests and fields, but there were no moose. So I climbed a tree to get a better view. All I could see was a goose. Perhaps he knew something. Hey, Mr. Goose, I called. Where are all the moose? Oh, you won't find any here, he said. The moose have gone on vacation. They usually go to the beach, but this year they wanted to try something new. So they went off to the city. Well, we didn't wait around. We went home right away. And Mr. Goose was right. The moose were in the city. Our city. Hundreds and thousands of moose. They were having a great time. That is, except for three young moose. I went over and introduced myself. Hi, I'm Molly, I said. Is something wrong? They answered, our, ha our hooves are aching. They really hurt and we're so tired and we need a place to rest. How could we refuse such nice young moose? We took them home right away. Oh, we had some trouble getting them through the door. It was like moving a piano, except a piano wouldn't complain so much. And then they were so tired they fell asleep at once. 
That night, I went into their room to read them a book. I whispered their names, Monty, Monroe, Milligan, but all they did was snore. They slept and slept, and after eight days, they leaped out of bed and stretched their long legs. Thank you, kind people, for helping us, they said. Now we want to help you. Please pass us those brushes and brooms. They swept the floor looking like skaters with the brooms as their partners. It was a superb performance. You could eat dinner off that floor, said my dad. The moose looked shocked. Oh, it's just a saying, said my mom. Kitchen next, they shouted, and they dashed off. By the time we got there, they already finished cleaning. Mom and Dad were so impressed. If you help out around the house, said my mom, you can stay as long as you want for free. The moose liked this idea. They had always wanted to see humans in their natural habitat. And it wasn't long before they showed us more of their amazing skills. Monty was a great cook. And Monroe was a fantastic washer-upper. And Milligan and Monty were terrific at drying laundry. And Monroe was wonderful at winding wool. They were three exceptional moose, but it wasn't all work for our guests. We took them out for special treats. They liked the movies most. We were all very happy until one day. We were watching a TV show about Alaska when suddenly our moose leaped up. There's mom and dad, they shouted, and you could see the family resemblance. And then they started to cry. I tried my best to cheer them up, but I knew how they felt. I was homesick once on a sleepover. They bent their heads together and had a quick discussion. It's the call of the wild, Molly, they cried. We really must return. We're going to go now before we cut off. We get cut off by the snow. We think a plane may be taking off around three. And then they were gone. I missed them so much. It was useless being mooseless. And then one day a postcard arrived. Months more went by, they called, just as they were telling my dad how to remove a stubborn coffee stain. The lines went quiet. They're probably caught in a blizzard, said my mom. I think she was right. Mostly a whole year had passed when I sent them an invitation to my birthday party, but they didn't reply. Had they forgotten me? It was the day of my party and my friends and I were sitting in the yard just as everyone started to sing happy birthday. I heard a buzzing sound like the sound of a great big bumblebee. I looked up, I blinked, and I looked again. Mom, Dad, I yelled, the mooses are coming. They've jumped out of the plane. And before I could clear the yard of sharp objects, they had arrived. Monty landed in the rose bushes. Ouch, she cried, and Monroe landed in the sandbox. Perfect, he said. Milligan landed in the ice cream. Mmm, strawberry, he said. They picked themselves up and they dusted themselves off. Surprise, they cried, grinning from antler to antler. They hadn't forgotten me at all. And now that we know how to parachute, how to parachute they said excitedly, we can drop in any time. Well, some children may like cats, and some children may like dogs, but me, I love 
moose. And that's the story of the useful moose. I hope you like the story and I hope that you will be useful at your house. What does useful mean? Do you know? Yeah, it means being helpful. You can help mom and dad with chores like the moose did. You can help with, if you have a younger brother or sister, you can help clean up your room and you can do your schoolwork, but don't forget to have fun too. I, I hope you like seeing me today. I loved seeing you. And I hope that I get to see you soon and give everybody a hug. Have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.